my beautiful soul, here's Julie for another reading. This is the week of the 20th to the 27th of January 2020. And I'm so, so happy to have you here today. So I feel very strongly the angel with us today. So um, I've been feeling very attracted to my uh, angel oracle card, my little wings, and then my warrior card oracle deck so i really want to start with that today but i do feel the angel around me so i'm really asking today to receive answer for you for the collective and again take what resonates with you let aside what doesn't we are all unique we all have our own experience and we all have things that resonate with us or not. Also, if you, um, if it happened to you to come across this video on another week, please just go ahead, you know, it might be a message that you really need. And if you like this kind of video, make sure to subscribe and like it, please. So let me get started with you. I'm so excited. Honestly, it's awesome. <laughs> All right, I feel I need to really start with the with our angel tarot card. All right, so I'm asking a message for the collective for the week of the 20th to the 27th uh, of January 2020. All right, beautiful angel, give me the message that people need to hear this week. Oh, what is going on? What do we need to know? Mm. This one. What do we need to know for this week for the collective? Oh my goodness. We need more, we need more. I'm asking you beautiful angel that I have with me right now because I really feel you. A beautiful message for the collective. Hmm. Oh. This one wants to come. No. no come. We need two more. I hear. Oh. Oh. What do we do? This one? That's it? There's one? No. Okay. All right, and again, it's on the floor. All right. Whew. Okay, let's see what we have to hear from our angel for this week. Oh, wow. All right. Gosh. All right. So do I need to read this now? No. I need to pick the next one. Yes, the little wings. Yep. Okay, guys, it's pretty, pretty strong today. All right, I'm asking a message for the collective for the week of the 20th to the 27th of January 2020. Angel, give us a message uh, for all of us to get clarity for this week. Ooh. Beautiful. Mm, oh. Okay, so we have a little pack that came out. Is it all of them? No. Okay. This one, no. Yes. It's funny because actually the two that we need, that they were already upside looking at me. All right, so there's one they go in the middle. All right, Woo, we're getting beautiful message today. Do we need to pick this one before? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I need a beautiful message for the collective today for the week of the 20th to the 27th of January 2020. Angel guide, give us clarity with a message. This one, I feel it's only one. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright, message for all of us. I'll ask you for a message. Oh, I've heard this one in my hand. Which one? This one. Okay. 
All right, we are ready to go, guys. I like to shovel everything in front of you because I know you think it's more accurate as well when you see me shoveling the message for the week. All right, well, let's get started on this reading. So, we get a lot of message here. So, we're getting... Um, hmm... I just need to read, tune in to know where to start because I feel it's like huge message. Okay. Okay. So what I'm feeling, so I'm going to show you. So bear in mind it's in French, but it's the wheels. And to me it's really saying it's we turn the wheels to go um, on another journey. So some things, an era is finished to actually um, start a new beginning. Um, and I feel as well that for some of you, it might be that a situation is ending or some things you were working on for quite a long time is actually uh, taking end and taking an end. And then you can actually starting to finally breathe and open a new door for a new start. And I feel also it's like a luck. It's about luck. It's about, um, you can see on the card, so it's the Archangel Michael. And you can see you get um, all the different elements, so water, fire, um, wind, and the earth. And so I do feel it's, it's kind of like you aligning to really... Um, you aligning and all it's kind of like all the elements in life are aligned for you to be lucky to open the door for a new opportunity a new um a new chance a new beginning a new chance that's really what i feel if there is anything else with this one not at the moment okay so then i feel we need to go on the king Yeah, again, here is to really uh, affirm that um, there is a new era and that's going to be success. So I'm going to show you that card. And you can see it's pretty, this man is pretty uh, relaxed on his seat and it's like, you know, um, he's the king, he feels really um, joyful and um, he's kind of holding, I feel, Quite funny, I feel he's holding like a, a ball of uh, the element fire. So he, I feel he have all in his hand to actually um, move forward. So it's kind of like I feel you you are ready because you are all aligned and and you have all in your hand. You have discovered really what what you need um, to go ahead on this new journey. And um, it's going to be a lot of success and you're going to be really confident and receive beautiful opportunities as well. And um, yeah, and you have the butterfly, which is also the new beginning. And you have the rainbow, which to me represents really also the aura of our body. It's really expanding. It's, it's beautiful. And it's like also... Um, kind of the storm that create the rainbow and, and that create you for your transformation, for your new beginning, for your new success. So it's kind of like you had to go to that um, uh, relationship or situation to actually transform and grow and know exactly what you wanted to know, take a new beginning. So that's really what, what I feel. And then we have also the magician, the... Um, in pro and we have the ego so what is my sense of this i feel with the ego though it was in the past so because of the ego you happen to be coked in that situation and you didn't really listening to your heart it's kind of you had a mask and you can see um, the man have a mask on, um, on his face and it's kind of like you had a mask and you were just um, 
going ahead, um, knowing that it was more your ego that your, than your heart that was actually driving you to, to that sense of new um, relationship or situation and, and, and that now that is really behind you to actually go ahead. So um, now you're going to really listen to your heart and that really I feel um, follow a bit uh, the reading from last week which was about all when you can listen to your heart that's where you'll be able to actually take the new step so maybe that's where you at now um, this week is like you have actually understood um, the situation that have make evolve um, you and you are following your your heart, not your ego anymore. And I feel though with the ego, what is very positive is even though you went in that ego, you were supported to actually be able to one day remove that mask and see um, actually what your heart was showing you already. But maybe at that time you were not able to see it because uh, because sometimes we need to, there is some stuff that need to shift before that hold us back, some some fear, some some old story, some trauma, or um, simply some karmic energy that actually stop us. But maybe you're on a soul level or on a conscious level, you might have really understand some things to be able to step out of this ego and actually follow your heart and let go of all the um, the, the fear and and. And, and really um, moving forward um, to create what you want. And so I feel I'm really attracted to the magician. And what I feel is because of this, um, when you actually, you know, know the, the, all the elements are in place for you to move forward, to, um, to create your new start, but I feel it's going to be magic. Um, there is going to be a sense of magic and it's really saying you are ready, uh, you have all the resource and the capacity uh, to really manifest what you have in your heart and everything is aligned and so it's kind of like magic now is the time to, to go in that portal of um, new beginning and create really what you have on your heart and that's really really exciting and beautiful you know and, um, and you can see um, the magician is very um, expanding and I love that look at his wings, he really opened his wings. So you're not a caterpillar, you're not in your cocoon anymore, you, you, have, um, you have expanded, you open your wings because you trust your deepest um, side. And I feel also what's coming is that uh, because you can see the, the, the sky is quite dark and, and you can see the, the storm and stuff, what I st feel very strongly is that even if there is some things that come to disturb you, you're not going, I mean, more like if there is some people or some energy that are going to make you um, feel that you, not, you should not do that, you're not going to let them bother you. You're actually going to continue to trust because you saw a line that actually uh, is going to be so beautiful and so um, it's kind of like, no, whatever is happening, I'm flying and I'm doing what what actually I feel is right for my heart, for my life. No one can, can tell me um, actually what I need to do. And no, I really feel the imperatrice. So it's kind of like um, the emperor. And so this one I really feel now is um, because of that, it's kind of like you accept all the part of yourself you align, you decide, this is it, this is my life, I am here, I want to show who I am and I'm going to shine and, and, and you're going to actually expand the abundance around you and that's beautiful, to re that's a beautiful card because it's really, um, you're going to um, emanate abundance around you and that's going to help you to realize your dream and um, with that in mind, you're going to take care again of yourself and of other because by showing that example into the world, this is beautiful, you know, because it's showing to people that they can realize also whatever they like, if they decide to, if they change their mindset, if they actually believe in who they are, they, we can actually create all what we desire and manifest it in real life. And so the, the improv is really coming to tell you this, that by actually 
following and expanding and actually be here and now you're going to also um it's going to really emanate and and have a boomerang i think you can say that in english a boomerang on other people which is quite beautiful and then we have our other two here that are coming so we have generosity and I do really feel that because you're expanding, it's kind of re regener generosity and then risk. Yes, of course, it's taking risk, you know. We haven't said that actually following or um, ourself and believing in ourself that is actually not challenging, you know. Yes, of course it is because, again, you're going to have, like, people saying stuff. But, again, remember... You're not going to be bothered about it because you know, you know now. You are firm, you know who you are and you know where you want to go. And that's incredible, guys, you know, because sometimes what can happen is like you think you know you want to go there, but you're not quite ready. There is always something holding you back. And so um, kind of like someone come and tell you something and it smash you down. But here it's, it's actually none of this anymore. It's like you are expanding, you're flying. You are. This is an amazing reading, guys. And um, you're going to, by expanding yourself, emanate this energy around you. And that's being generous about it. And then we have Ponopono, immeasurable power of the heart we and that's totally this guys. You know, you can see this woman soul about the heart. She is really the goddess of um opening the heart and she is so peaceful with herself and everything aligned and again you can see you again have that beautiful um rainbow, you have the beautiful uh, sun or the moon um, behind her, her third eye is completely open, her, her, actually it probably is the crown, but everything is aligned, you know, in her chakra as well, so, and then around her, you can really see, you can really see her hair could actually represent her aura, and so that is emanating around her, and, sh and really expanding to who she is, and you know, you attract abundance when you become uh, really align with yourself you not even need to it's coming to you because you are you are aligned and what you do is in is in um is aligning with your soul purpose and when all that is aligned it's actually emanates, emanating so beautifully that oh my god people are just going to be attracted to your energy to your vibe so this is honestly a manifestation message for this week. I'm so excited for you all. And again, you know, um, may, maybe not everything of this is going to um, resonate with you, but take what does, you know, because um, I like to do a general uh, reading because we can really take, and I feel when you, when you have like a... Um, a click in your body about oh yeah this is it this is the message you needed to hear today sometimes it doesn't need to be big and sometimes it doesn't need to be consciously understanding but your soul need to hear it to actually shift you know so in in many ways this is this is actually going to um emanate within you and and give you a message that you needed to receive today and so that's what i love about all of this so guys i feel let me tune in to see if there is anything else because i feel it's so strong already and i feel it's so beautiful and 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 so accurate Okay, so what I hear from the angel here is that really you need to be very aligned for all of this to really emanate and happen this week into your life. So, yeah, extra meditation, extra work, extra time and self-care, extra nourishment, and that uh, is on different level. I would say food and... Um, and soul wise so nourishing your soul but your body with good good nutrient and being grounded being grounded because all of this is really going to to take place this week 
um, and, and this is just incredible. Yeah, that's it. It's what I hear. That's it. <laughs> beautiful all right guys so if you love this video please again make sure to subscribe to our channel um at essence sky school also uh, if you would like to have your personal reading and guidance uh, i will put the detail down below uh, into the um details and um yeah i feel it's so so beautiful i feel very fulfilled by this message honestly for all of us and I yeah I just feel I need to leave you with this and I hope it really resonates with you and again take care of yourself remember that you are actor of your life and that any decision you make it's on you um, and really believe in who you are guys I am here to guide you and give you um, a perception from what I hear from the angel, the guide, the ancestor, um, the earth, the universe and I'm so happy I can share this with you. So I'm going to leave you here and I'm wishing you a beautiful day or night and sending you lots of love. You take care and I will see you next week. See you next week guys. Bye.